What's up guys? Welcome to DM Me, a Dungeons and Dragons dating game. I'm JJ, but you don't have to refer to me. I'll be your host and translator for those of you who have better things to do than to understand D&D, which is valid. But I invite you to humor us anyway, as we follow our campaign of four contestants through the realm of Bigelot on their quest to survive and score a date with Dungeon Master and Absolute Smoke Show, Kenzie. Here are the rules. At the end of each episode, each person will get to vote one player off the show. And if we don't have a clear elimination by the end of the vote, it's up to Mackenzie. There will also be immunity idols hidden along the way in plain sight. Immunity idols can only be used once and become void once we reach the finale. And votes cast at the end of this episode determines who dies next episode, thus disarming their shot at the date with Kenzie. We secretly established some major plot points before filming, but D&D is also a form of improv, so a lot of what you're about to see is made up on the spot. That's pretty much all you need to know. But before I subject you to this thing we've made, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Shut up! Just kidding, it's not sponsored. Um, this monster piece that we've created started with a TikTok on July 13th of 2021. If you've been here since then, please lower your expectations. We set out on a search across Kenzie's dating profiles for hot and ready role play enthusiasts ready for some all out f***ery. And by the end of it, we had four friends from all areas of our lives, who, may I remind, are still here under contract. We built this world from the ground up full of ghosts, geese, drugs, shrubs, cults, and sus NPCs for your viewing pleasure, foolish mortals. So, welcome to DM Me. You guys have traveled far and wide. You're seasoned travelers, sort of, at this point. And you've all made your way to the sleepy little town of Dawn. Dawn is in Fandival, the Elven Kingdom. So, three of you feel quite at home here in the Elven Kingdom. One of you. I'm Not gonna, so much. I'm gonna pretend like I feel at home, though. You can lie to yourself. I'm That's lying to issue. myself, yeah. So some may call me a pushover DM for allowing this, but I think it's hilarious. I can tell what they're all thinking. Oh, we're gonna be one of the one to break it to him that he's not a goose. Guess what? I am a goose. In right, this happy. sleepy little town, there is a church to Pevdi, the god of the hunt. This symbol, the shape that this church is in, is the symbol of the god with these lovely little shrubs. It is a Thursday morning, so you know what that means. The Whispering Wench has just come out, and all the gossip is usually there, so I believe it's time. A polite young man wearing a cloak comes up and he goes, I'll read the Whispering Wench for you guys. This, uh, the town, town, everybody ready? Get around, everybody, get around. I will read Whispering Wench for you. Let's do it. Fandival finds their royal family lacking an expected member. Prince Robert was all set to marry Bray, a young elf socialite. In a shocking turn of events, Bray is nowhere to be found. The young prince is left heartbroken, and the country is left with holes in their pockets from spending so much money on a cancelled wedding. In other news, this week marks the two-year anniversary of the disappearance of the Silk Swordsmen. They were last seen in the mountains of Akristan. The monks are predictably tight-lipped about what could have happened to them. They also have no comment about their temple, which began crumbling last week. Rumsnack continues to supply Bigelot with essential goods, and we thank Foray for all they've accomplished. The floating city was recently spotted near the Trident Waters. This is a rare sighting, as you can only see the city when someone inside wants you to see it. The last time we saw the floating city was almost 11 months ago, when it was spotted near the shores of the Druid Island. Bigelot Day is just around the corner, and the people of Talonthorn cannot wait for their celebration. Rumors about the health of Talonthorn's king have increased but everyone we spoke to has attributed a different illness. All eyes are not on the king, but his young daughter, long cloistered in the tower. Many doubt her ability to lead or relate to the people, but royal spokesperson Alison Drake assures us that she has been training with her father. Bigelot holds its breath to see when and how she will step up to the throne. Until next time, the Whispering Wench. All right, you gossip rags. Have fun. All right, so you look around, you see these four people, plus an old woman in a red cloak squatting down next to an abandoned stall. What do you do? She's about my height, isn't she? Just like even when she's squatting. She's squatting, like, she is about your height. I would like to approach the old woman and see what's going on. And also, I would love to know her name because I feel like she doesn't like being called an old woman. All right, so you can walk up, uh, and what do, you, what do you say? I'm just speaking from my own experience. I wouldn't want to be called old. That's kind of rude. Our names are important. They hold power. And we're out here calling her the old woman. Don't be f***ing rude. Hi, I'm wondering why are all the stalls closed right now? What's everyone up to? Every Thursday when the Whispering Wench comes out, we love to just sit and gossip.
gossip about it. <gasps> Jeremy over there has the best theories about Bray. Can you tell me some of those theories, or should I go to Jeremy? I like to believe I have the inside scoop. I talked to someone who talked to someone who was the last person to see Bray before she went missing. I would love to talk to you about this. Where do you think she's gone? I think she went down the river toward Rumsnack. Do you know why she left? She was in love with another. <gasps> Everyone knows it. You are just the best to talk to about this. And I love your cloak. Why, thank you. It is dyed with the blood of my enemies. You know, watching someone else with someone that's not me is kind of upsetting. I just like attention, and no one is giving me attention at the moment. Look at me! Talk to me! Please? Oh, you know how it is these days. Oh, absolutely. Men, am I right? Absolutely. What is your name? My name is Cupcake. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name? You can call me Punch. As much as I love hearing the whispering lunch, I think I'm going to keep coming to you to talk about it afterwards. I will always give it to you straight, Cupcake. Only thing I'll do straight, though. <laughs> Same. Honestly, it just slipped out, which is lesbian, but most people are gay in this world, so it checks out. I was going to put a curse on her, but then what a sweet child. I think maybe I shall help her instead. <laughs> These three other people here, do you have any idea who they are? They are travelers, just like you, my dear. Do you get a strange sense from that one? A bony hand comes out from the cloak. Points. I, I and goose. see this. The halfling covered in feathers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I see someone's pointing at me like, yeah, what's up? Hi. You yeah? are different from the others. No, I'm not. I don't think I'm different. Your soul must be missing a piece. I can feel it. You must find your missing soul piece, my dear. I've been looking for my family for so long. I'm seeing my therapist next week. I can't deal with this right now. You are hunting for something then? You came to the right town. You should speak to someone in the Pepty Church, and Pepty shall guide you on your journey. Me and Pepty don't get along that well. How did you piss off a god already? I'm good at this kind of stuff. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not quite ready to talk about that one yet. I assure you, it's as stupid as you think it is. Is there Jesus here? Okay, uh, everyone roll perception. For perception, they're gonna get information from Kenzie about what's going on around them based on how well they roll. First rule of the game, always exciting. I love to make it pretty much inconsequential. They get all hyped up. They're like, yeah, let's go. We're gonna roll for perception. And then I'm like, there's an old lady sitting in the corner. Could be a nursery. <laughs> Look, I'm coming in hot. I got a 23. <laughs> got seven. I saw a pretty girl. I got distracted. I feel pretty good. I mean, 15's not the best. I mean, it's certainly hard on other people, so I mean... Oh yeah, man, I rolled a seven. Yeah, we started a up terribly. Neither of you two see jack yeah. um, You notice the witch, like, as you're bantering together, the witch is, like, backing away. Hey, Pudge, where are you going? I have business to take care of. What kind of business? Do you know about my family? You're fine. Shut up. Oh, okay, I'm having a conversation with my new bestie here. I, I and I just stay together besties. I'm just trying to find my family at the same time. Would you I have daddy issues too? Okay. Well, it's I, more than daddy issues. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. This is a you issue. It's this is an us issue. <laughs> she got away. Why does your daddy, mommy, sister issue gotta drag me down? I just met you. I don't even know who you are. Okay, I feel like we're getting off on the wrong foot. I want to sincerely apologize. Okay. I've been going through a lot recently. I know you it's, told me. I seem to have told everyone. Yes. You scared everyone else away. Look around you. I know the professor. I know a professor when I fucking see one. Not all professors are terrible, but you wouldn't know. Did you go to college? I was studied at. They took me there in Portugal. Do you have any idea what it's like being caught? being caught, and then being picked and prodded at and sold to university after university because you're some fuck freak. I'm a goose. Oh, look at him. He's a goose. Ah, they f***ing torture. You heard about this study and, 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 you know, you came across it six years ago? More like three. Wait a minute. I know you. Do you know Azaria? Azaria was the only one that took care of me while I was being tortured. I don't love her, but she was there for me. I'm just gonna like keep Goose on a leash at least to make sure he doesn't do anything stupid so he can see what's up. No, it's Arya. I know it's She's Arya my well. sister! I immediately like sit crisscross the applesauce in front of him. <laughs> you know, Azaria was the only one that cared for me there. I hug me, you. I'm hugging you. If you. As he gets close to my ear, like, I, get, I kind of whisper in his ear, I'm like, if you are interested in my sister, just letting you know that I will keep. Oh, whoa, whoa, I was not going there. She was a great friend of mine and she continues to be a great friend of mine. That's all we are. 
Hi, I'm Baron Von Affleck the third. Affleck? A goose? Oh my god, so good at that for. Do you have a therapist? I used to. Would you like me to give you the name of my therapist? Yeah, actually. I, right. I honked too much at my last therapist and she kind of ditched me. Her name is Red Velvet. Like, Wait, you know Red Velvet? Yeah, she's been my therapist for years. I love Red Velvet. You know Red Velvet? You're a friend of mine. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, wait. Wing, I'm Cupcake. Pleasure to meet you. I'm very happy Wing is here, especially since like the other two aren't giving me the best impression. No, I'm open. I'm open. Wing exudes like this confidence. I'm always here for an inferior being. She's a pretty girl. I'm very excited. Yeah. Ziri, pleasure to meet you as well. Baron of Von Affleck the third. Yep. <laughs> Some wing on wing action right there. <laughs> Choose this name for a pun. I'm the pun person. I got the jokes. Not you. You guys hear the music, right? Yeah, we should probably attend. Why not go to a party? You know what? I haven't gone to a party party, I guess you could say, in a while, so I'm down. So these people don't get it. Like, normal parties, they're fun, but my wife, she throws the best parties. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're really good. People usually stare at me when I go to these kind of things. I think people just stare at you in general. Yeah, yeah it, it does tend to happen a lot. You're like three foot something and you're covered in white. Three foot nine. nine. Okay. Can we just go to the church already? Whoever the goose boy, okay. Where is this boy? Where does hostility come from? Yeah, He's I... my profession, first of all, mind you. I just want you to understand that. We just bonded through your sister. What do you mean I'm not a professor, dumbass? I went to university for f***ing 60 years, god damn it. They are three feet tall. I could dribble them. If this is getting awkward, I'm gonna walk to the church. Yeah, hey, I'll go with you. All right, let's go. Guys, don't leave me with him, please. Bye, uh, So, yes, yeah, so you walk up to the church. And there's a big wall that runs through the middle of the church, and then a wall out in front, mm -hmm. and then the wall goes all the way around. So there's these openings that you can go into, but in front of those walls are the shrubs. And so you can walk through that little opening there and into the chorus of voices. I started to walk in, but stopped and started staring at with the shrub on the left intently. Do any of you notice? Do you walk in without him? No, I, I walk in without him. I, I fully walk I'm, in I'm without him. I'm following Cupcake. Yeah. I, I stop for one look, like look, at, look at Bear and like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> I think it take a big old fucking chomp out of that thing. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's breakfast. Ahem. It's not generally the <laughs> The shrub awakens. Okay. Now we're in combat. They'll need to roll initiative to see where they land in the order of the fight. Highest number goes first. The shrub has awakened. Uh, roll first thing I did. Initiative. 14. Eight. I'm just enjoying the music. Did it scream or something? It just wow. like. Moves around. Moves yeah. around. Like right. shifted. <laughs> yeah. Same way that you would if someone did a chunk out of you. All right, so the shrub uh, strikes out at you. There's a three hit. No. You're lucky. You're lucky, very lucky. The shrub swings at you and it misses. Then it is your turn. Okay. First thing I do, I take that shit out of my mouth and put it back on the shrub and try to apologize. Persuasion, just persuasion, persuasion, yeah, persuasion. persuasion. I'm just curious if it has ears. Okay, I rolled an eight. <laughs> so you did not persuade it. It shakes angrily at you. Since it attacked him, I'm just gonna pull out my dagger and just like back off, back off. We all are like, escalating this uh, way. Roll for intimidation. It's a shrub. I tried talking to it and it's like no. I tried biting it first. I didn't know it was alive. Nineteen. Okay. So I just, I still have to just back off, kind of while I'm like, hey, 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 hey stop. Do you stop. want some of your shrub back? As it I like, it, like shrinks back, spits out the leaves you put back in, out of you, <laughs> and then settles back into place. Yeah, how would you oh feel if someone? I like didn't a know it was alive. Hey. You're an idiot. I mean, it's in the utmost respect. Are you saying this to my character or to me, Thomas? Yes, both. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go with the other two. Yeah, I'm down. All right, I just, I just pick him up by like, the back of his shirt and just like walk his Hey, head. while you're doing this, can you put me on your shoulders? No. Okay. You enter the church. The inside is all mirrored walls. Oh, so yeah. So oh, yeah. mirrors on the outside and, yes. and then two mirrors down the length of the middle so you can go around. There's nothing else in, there's nothing else in the church. Just mirrored walls, mirrored ceilings, mirrored floors. And you walk around and people oh. are like singing hymns. It's the ballet studio from Twilight. A room full of mirrors. No! Oh. no! Religious yes. check to see if you know the hymns. Oh, if okay. you'd like to sing along. Okay, Nashville was funny. I, nice. I know it, yeah, 19. 18. 10. All right, <laughs> you the three are vibing and the professor is like, I'm just gonna be, vibe. To be fair, Pepti isn't really my go-to god. I thought you were a professor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. These roads are not, are not safe. I got robbed one time. That sounds like a well, problem. 
Fair, fair. You should see the other guy, so just say. Who is the other guy? Well, he's six feet under, so I mean, I can't really. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really say. That's how you solve your problem? Just by I, murder? Kind of aggressive. Do you think I asked to get raw? The guy came at me with a knife. I said, hold on, buddy. Let's not do anything irrational. He stabbed me, so I first took the knife out and stabbed him. But unfortunately, it, it, I hit him in the throat, so it kind of killed me instantly. So it's kind of awkward, like, chugging up all the blood, you know. How did you not lose your tenure from murdering <laughs> someone? Also, I was on leave at the time. It didn't really count. You know what that sounds like? What? An excuse. I'm still covered in like shrub puke, basically. Do they know that I attacked their shrub? No one seems to be upset at you. Or oh, anything. okay. Maybe I'm don't bring it up either. At all. What, that I took a bite of their Wait, shrub? Wait, you attacked their shrub? It was, it was so green. It was so funny. You don't know what we're saying. Oh, it was so funny, was it? You think this is funny? These shrubs are holy ground, and they're laughing at him after they just took a chunk out of him. I can't even remember. It was funny to desecrate a sacred space. Yeah, you're getting us in trouble. I would like to, to make a case for, for yeah, me and my friend out. here. We were, yeah, we're inside. We were inside. We saw nothing. I think we're here. I want to make a case too. That shrub was mighty delicious. He can make his own case. He's very oh. hurt. I would ask you to please be more respectful of our world. I want to offer this apology honk to you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Honk. <laughs> Can you call that an apology? <laughs> honk! You are a strange group of travelers. Oh, I, just I think you were meant to come to me in this church today. Whoa! Faith's one way to put it. I have a respect for the gods. I just don't see why they would want us all together. So, yeah, Faith? Love it. We're just gonna go on based on vibes. Life is just like a math equation. I think we've got to take care of ourselves personally. I have no idea what this fate has to do with me and getting me back to my family. I don't see how any of these guys are gonna help me find them. Kind of down for anything new at this point. I don't think they want the map. It's a magic map. I try. I try so hard to get more silk for the swords made of silk that are selling out and everybody wants one and I just want to do my job. So you don't love the mystical No, map no one talking mad, mad. No, I have oh, no, I'm interested. I'm glad you take it. I, what? Abso yeah. I absolutely do. I, I just want everyone to respect you, and I think unloading everyone's personal like baggage, it's a lot. Does Trauma it lead me to my family? No. Yeah, you guys are kind of weird. Yes on the magic yes. map? No, it's yes, yes, 100%. Dibs. How many we have? Are we sharing? Oh, it's yes. one. Okay, I just want to The goal share. of the adventure is to bond together as friends. Oh, like Haven't you map. ever heard of an adventuring group before? I did call dibs on the map. There. Absolutely, you did. I respect that. I respect your opinion. Yeah. It's empty. It's like the squirrel from Kung Fu Panda. It's like Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. 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 I, I have not seen Kung Fu Panda. You've never seen Kung Fu Panda? Panda. No. It's a f***ing dragon scroll. It was right there. I don't like Jack Black. Do you guys like to hear about the map or not? It's Jack Black narrating. It's Dave Grohl in it. I will rip up this f***ing map. When all four adventurers touch the map, it will appear. As as Wing delicately places their fingers on the map, a beautiful map appears. Woo! That's so cool. I like it. This is something we're sharing, right? Depends on how you treat me. This map should take you to the silk caves, the silk swordsmen were going there. Gosh, That's God. why they're called the silk swordsmen. They, they didn't make it, but I think you guys will. That's a great idea. Question. Mm -hmm. Why? I believe in you. Okay, but why do we need I to go to the cave? So that we may make more swords of silk. Oh, I do have a silken sword. It is mostly used for sex, but they're, we're selling out rapidly. I'm not interested anymore. How much do they go for? Each silken sword goes for 50 gold pieces. Okay. I am not contributing to that. How much you got? No, I, here's what I'm thinking. We go, we get more silk. You get rich. There we go. Oh, you know what? I like you. I like you too. Yeah, you're pretty pretty. There we go. Oh, shit. how do we get there? You okay. follow the map. Oh, oh, shit. We have a map. We have a map. Yeah. Guys, okay. I don't have a map. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. Did you forget? It was like five seconds ago. It's day one. So, you've got the map. It starts in Dawn, and there's a, just a straight line through the river, all the way up through Agristan to the mountains. It goes through the city, Am City, in Agristan, and then over and around to the cave. So, you say, you know, we could try to commission a boat, but I think that would be pretty expensive. There's a freeway to get there if we oh. go, uh -huh, freeway. If oh, we go oh, through oh, the mountains, <laughs> there is a cave, there's a tunnel system that goes uh, through these purple mountains here and it goes underneath the river, pops up in Jacksonville. Look, I'm broke as shit. 
I, I flirted my way to this city. I'm gonna. It's worked out for me, okay? Sorry, I need an example. You have the most gorgeous eyes. I could just get lost in them all day, especially like with your hair. Stop, here's five gold. Thank you. Those are cute. Caves? Caves. 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 I love spelunking. Oh my god. Oh! The professor knows where the cave entrance is. You go into the cave. Yeah, look at you go, go. What kind of professor are you? Yeah, what kind of professor well, are you? I'm a history professor, specifically by you have a broad knowledge of things. So not the kind that tortures the east. It's cave time, bitches! That's right, buddy. Welcome to the tunnels. Cow old bummer. Let's move on. Uh, what's second. your formation? Who goes first? I'm first! No, I'm second. Get some you walk I into the that. cave. I have dark vision! I also have dark vision. I actually have... Superior, I vision. don't have dark vision. Thanks. All right, so all of you can see except for Goose. Yeah, you can sure hear the hand. faint sound of water. Yes. You walk forward. You walk forward. You can't see anything really from miles. There's just this one twist up ahead. Once you're there, you do see that there's an offshoot. What? You don't know there's an offshoot Damn because, it. because you can't see. I'm using my cantrip and now I can't see because can there's I, fire. Can I peek and see what's in it? You can look down the new hallway. Yeah. Sixteen. All right. Uh, you see that this tunnel has steps and it's going down. Ooh. It's going down. down. Do you say anything about them or do anything about them? Uh, guys, these are steps that are going down. Very oh, I love spoopy stuff. Should we check it out? You can't see. Let's go. Exactly. But you I'm, told me about it. I grab the goose. No, I don't. I tell the other elf and elf, can you push the goose along? Thanks. And I start walking again. <laughs> I was just going to pick you up having a lantern, like a human lantern. <laughs> I, I got some light on the goose. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're just gonna be like, alright guys. You know what? I'm strangely okay with this. You go around the next bend and you see another hallway. This hallway has faint music playing from it. Oh, okay. Just music. like a little, like like music. little loot music. Oh, Someone's playing a I like the music. I like the music. I like the music. Uh, I think we should go this way. Can we roll for perception? Okay. You can roll initiative because a flying dagger just came out of the hallway. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, baby. Big numbers. That's a 14. I rolled. An H. I got an H. Remind oh. you are being held. <laughs> so 21's good. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah, it just means you go first. It means you can use your spell. There is a flying dagger flying around, swinging around, and it's like menacingly looking at you. I mean, it obviously doesn't have eyes, but it has like these little jewels in the hilt that look like eyes, and it looks like it's giving you a disapproving look, even though it is theoretically an inanimate object that is being controlled. Awesome. I'm not even using a spell. I'm just looking for dead stuff. I have the uh, <laughs> eyes of the grave. Ooh, okay. Do um, I see any dead things? Do you have to be able to see them? No, they're just pink. You cool. can just sense them. Yeah. I can sense the dead. Mm -hmm. There's probably like 50 dead people uh, at the base of these at the base of these stairs. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I am going to cast a flame blade. Yep. I'm gonna fight a real blade with a flame blade. Or I got a dirty twenty. Let's go. Bet you whack the sword? Hell yeah, I whack that f Yeah, you whack it with the yeah. flame sword, and it does, it looks like a little bit, maybe a little melted. Yeah. Um, but more just pissed. And then you roll for damage? Okay, so six. Zirion, you're holding, you're holding know, so I'm you holding can only two. do one-handed attacks, yeah. yeah. I tend to grab it. Yeah, you could try that. A strength check? Oh, you're right or left-handed. I'm right-handed, but right hand. Okay, but that means are you grabbing with your left hand? Yeah, are you grabbing with I'm your non-dominant hand? I'm still, I'm still hand? with your hand, bro. 21. You are able to hold on to this, um, and you're able to keep a hold of it as it tries to struggle out of your way. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up. Oh. It is now trying to, like, slice bear. Oh, oh, oh no. Stop. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Stop. No. Bear hit the short end when I rolled so poorly. It's just easiest to Things slice bear from like its position. Me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Can I use, like, a bonus action to kind of, like, make sure it doesn't, like, attack you? Oh, you can use your bonus action to be nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, what I want to do is my turn. Yeah. You're gonna see, they're like this, and they're like, oh shit. Ah, uh, uh, and then magically, I don't know where their umbrella pops out, pops out of their hand. Ooh, fun. And they're gonna point it like a wizard wand uh, and cast Eldritch Blast at the soul. Uh. Sorry, I roll. A 12. A 12 does not hit. All right, all right. You know what? Hit the goose. No, it's, it is now the so dagger's turn. turn. Oh, the dagger gets a turn. Oh, oh shit. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh it's menacingly vibrating in. <laughs> James wow. is hand right now. now. Strength check? 13. The sword goes out of your hand and drops to the ground. It is now sitting on the ground. Shrieking? Um, but it is slowly but surely moving back towards the entrance of the cave. No! Do not right. I like you. Yeah, that hits. 13 damage. After the thing got hit, I'm gonna be like, it, have a good day. It goes boop, 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 and then you go boom, and then it goes 
And then um, it Ew. dies. What? Oh. It dies? The loot music is still playing. Is it coming from it's, this hallway? Yeah, it's yes. coming from yeah. the, the, the darkened the hallway. That, well, you're now in because the yeah. sword was in there. So you're so now there. Everybody the music is louder. Go. You walk through the darkened hallway. The loot music gets louder. And as you walk in, this big cavern opens up in front of you. It seems like there's some skylights somehow. Yeah, it's should be. Just Underwater. a playground. It's like the it's like the tunnels in the aquariums. That is oh, what this is like. But there is also a playground. There are four oh. children. They oh, all look no. under thirteen. No, that's a big no. Huge no. And they're playing oh, on the yeah. playground. They're yeah. on the little monkey like bars. Those. They're in the swings. Did, did we see them? They got one of those. Did they see us? I, yeah. No, oh, there is some guy in a cloak in the corner. How old is this? Oh, he's unclear. Like in a cloak. Corner. Okay, I would like to uh, cast detect. Evil and good. There's a, a, a ghost. It's in like a little sandbox, the ghost. Hey, how long have you been here? I've been here for almost 2,000 years. How old were you before you, like, you know? 12. I'd like to go on an adventure. Are you able to leave? No, a mean man cursed me. What if we went on the adventure for you and then we told you about the adventure when we came back? That would be awesome. There's a cult down, down the way a little bit in the caves. They act all nice, but I definitely would not stay with them. What's your name, by the way? Agatha. Agatha. Agatha, you've been an absolute doll. You, you walked up to a cloak man? Yeah. I just say, what's up? Hey. Hey, what's up this boy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this man is hot. <laughs> <laughs> not here for the kids. Oh, we are. Cut. Cut. Full stop. Are you proud of yourself? Goose boy? Was the joke worth it? You know what? Cupcake can have this one. You gotta stop this fucking goose so goddamn hard. I'm about to rip out his goddamn butt. I will punch him back down those goddamn stairs. You know, there are like 50 bodies down there, but there will be 51 fucking bodies. Bro, that just ain't right. You're here for the kids, aren't you? I think <laughs> context is what's important here, because that's not what I meant. I meant to say, I'm Baron and I love kids. So, yes, I guess in that sense, I'm here for the kids, because I seem to have pissed everyone off. No, no, not in the way that was sus, I swear, man. I, I ain't sussy like that. Just be nice, all right? These kids have gone through a lot, okay? We try to make this a safe space. Yeah, for what do you mean them. these kids have gone through a lot? What are they? What? They're orphans. Where else do you think orphans get to play? Why in a cave? Because they didn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, but so why? So judgy. Everybody roll perception. So they rolled a natural one? Natural 20, let's go. I'm 22. All right, so... Ten. You two are like, you're vibing. You're vibing. Such a great time. Hours. But you two... You look over and you see one of the little boys skips over to one of the little girls on the Already swing. Scared. You drop Baron as you see the little boy pull out a knife and no! slit the little girl's throat. Yeah. The other two children start screaming and Cloak Man runs away. Can I grab? Can I? Can I? Uh, yes, you can grab the other two I kids. I immediately grab the other two kids and get out of here. I did not expect anyone to try to save the children. I don't like kids. I like the yeah, it's creepy. The orphan playground is creepy. I know. Good luck, everybody. Uh, you know, I just like to put in a little death there. Um, you, you know, we've gotta, we gotta have at least one death per episode. Yeah. Keep those ratings up. You hightail it. You are running out of that playground and you're running down the caves. And we will pick this up next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know we're not done here. We still have to vote. And I'm not leaving without promise of a body. So let's get down to it, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna vote for Z. Mostly because as much as I don't like Goose, it's gonna be fun to f him for a bit. And I like this, this uh, give and take we got. It's the most we give sh to the Goose. F you, Z, go home. I'm going up to you, I don't know why. Competition. You've seen them, right? The personality, the ego, it is terrifying. I gotta take care of that before I'm the problem ASAP. Look, I am just trying to think what's best for Kenzie here. I've been friends with her since college. I know exactly what Kenzie is going to do. She is one of the hottest, coolest people out there. She deserves the best. All these people, they're generally, they're really cool. I'm really glad to be here, but I'm gonna vote for Thomas. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna vote for Kaylin. I see blood between us, a lot of blood between us already. The way she was flirting with Kenzie, mm, mm. Oh man, that really got me, man. <laughs> Way to make the vote matter, guys. God damn. No one picked up an immunity idol, and there's no clear elimination, so you know what that means. The scythe is in Kenzie's hands. However, if someone picks up an immunity idol next episode, Kenzie will be forced to respect that.
Whoever she brutally murders next week is of her own free will and consequence. So if you're sensitive to descriptive blood and gore, please come back and watch the rest of the series anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Share us with your nerdy friends and let us know who you think deserves the date with Kenzie. See you next time. We're officially on a break.